Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special video, and I know I say that every time, but this one is super special because I'm doing a collab with some other planner girls, and we're also doing a holiday tag. So we're gonna answer 10 questions that have to do with the holidays, and we're gonna use this kit, and it's gonna be fun. So um, let me go ahead and put their names and their um, Instagram names on here and then I'll show you the kit. So we have Becky from Sticker Sis, Nicole from 20 Something Planner, Ruby from Ruby Nicole 85 she's also Sticker Oki over on Instagram, and Reese from Reese Plans, who I've collabed with before. So we have this kit. Um, we're all using either this one or a, a Thanksgiving one, and I picked this one because I just, I loved it so much. I think it's so cute. So uh, this one is called Woodland Dreamer. And it has a quote by John Lennon, which I love because you know I love the Beatles. Um, it says, you say, you may say I, that I am a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. So I love this kit. It's so pretty. I love the colors of it too. So we have the full boxes here. Then we have the full box checklists. We have the bottom washi and some headers or washi, whatever you want to do with it. And then we have some half boxes some should go this way um some quarter boxes some scallops and then we have these guys so we have the weekend banner with some deco those are so adorable some functional deco some headers some little things date covers and some glitter headers which i think i will actually use this week across the top so I also have some other things that I'm going to be pulling in. Um, I have to get my pencils though. Give me one sec. Okay, so I grabbed my pencils. Now to grab this washi, I want to use that at the top. So I am going to, I think, I guess I don't really need to speed you through since I'm going to be answering questions. So let's start with the bottom washi. And our first question is, what are you most thankful for this year? Cause we're gonna cover like Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. So what am I most thankful for? I think that would have to be my little baby nephew. I know I talk about him all the time, but he is just a delight. And he is just more than I ever could have imagined in my auntie dreams. So I just can't wait to see him every time I can. And he's just so cute. And I've also had like a really like happy and healthy year and I'm just really thankful for that too. Like I made a point, like my goal was health and I made a, pr a priority and it's paid off. So second question has to do with thanks again with Thanksgiving. Um, let's see. Does your family have a special holiday recipe they like to make? Um or that I help make. And yes, I help my mom make um, Thanksgiving every year. And we have a couple things that we make every year. Uh, one of them being these potato rolls. They are so good. I can't even explain. Like they are like addictive. They're delicious and you can't stop eating them. And they, are, they take a while to make because you have to like make them rise twice or whatever but they are so worth it. We usually make like a huge amount of them because we know we're gonna eat them over the next few days with like leftovers and stuff. We make little sandwiches, they're just so good. And then we also make some kind of pecan recipe because I, we all just love pecans. Um, usually pumpkin pie, or not pumpkin, pecan pie. Um, this year we're doing a little twist and I love making the desserts and pie is like my specialty and so if you have Southern Living Magazine, the recipe on the front, it just looks so good. Oh, it's a pumpkin, it ha no, it has a cheesecake bottom in the pie crust and then it has pumpkin pie on top of the cheesecake. And I think I'm actually gonna add some chocolate to the pecans. It's just gonna be delicious. So can't wait for that. We always do fun desserts, always. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this is a fun question. Do you watch the parade, football, or both? And I say both. I'm actually not a football person. I'm not really into sports. 
like that much. I mean, I'll watch some sports, but there's something about watching football on Thanksgiving. I'll usually get through like the first quarter, maybe the, the first half, and then my like turkey coma kicks in and I will go take a nap. But uh, the parade for sure. Definitely watch the parade. Um, my sister is like, she's obsessed with the parade. Um, I've talked about her before, but my middle sister, Chase, she was born with mental disabilities and she is just like, she'll be a child forever, which is awesome in a lot of ways because she like shows what's important and sitting down, watching the parade, having fun on Thanksgiving morning that's important so that's always fun to watch with her because she gets so excited for the very end of the parade which is when santa comes out and like she still believes in santa it's adorable so yes to both i'll say that and then do you do black friday okay here's the thing i don't really care for crowds that much i just i have a little bit of anxiety it's not my favorite thing so the crowds kind of keep me away, especially if like there's a big sale or like something that everyone's talking about. I definitely steer clear of that. I'm not into it, but I will check out the sales. And if there's something like worth checking out, then I'm not like opposed to going out in the afternoon maybe. But I don't know. Thanksgiving is kind of sacred. Like you eat and you spend time with your family. That's what you're supposed to do. And then maybe on a Friday you go out and do stuff, but not Thursday. Like I don't know. That may be an old-fashioned way of thinking about it, but that's what I think. Okay, I'm going to use this quote for my quote box. Let's see. What is next? Um, hold on. Let me put this down real quick. Okay, next is what is most important to you about the holidays? And that would be the obvious answer. Uh, spending time with my family. I don't get to see them too often, especially my extended family. We're all spread out across Texas and Oklahoma. And so when we do get together, it's always a blast, but we just don't get to spend like a ton of time together. So it's always like precious time. I think I'm gonna take this one and cut it down and make some flags for up here because I don't see any in the kit. Okay, so I'm just going to snip off some of this. Um, yeah, I think that's good on that question. And then what's next? Oh, which holidays do I celebrate like in general? So I celebrate Thanksgiving because I'm American. And then I celebrate... Thing. Um, Christmas because I'm a Christian and I celebrate New Year's I guess during the holidays but yeah those are um, we don't do anything really big for Christmas or Christmas Eve we used to go to like church services and stuff when I was a kid but as I've gotten older we all just like to hang out together you know since we don't have that much time together Okay, there we go. Let me do the other side real quick. Let's see, what else? Ooh, this is a fun one. Favorite holiday movie. Okay, I have two. I know that's not really fair, but I do have two. It depends on my mood, which movie I want to watch. So if I'm in a goofy mood or like where our family is in a goofy mood, we will usually go for uh, Elf. Because Elf is hysterical, even after I've seen it. Probably, I don't know how many times. Probably 30 times. A lot. Maybe not that many, but a lot of times. And it's still funny to me. I don't know why. But sometimes I'm not in the mood for it, or we as a group are not into it. And we will watch Love Actually, which I love so much. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's just so sweet and I love all the stories and it's sad and it's funny and it's like, it's just, it's heart 
warming, you know? It's a good movie. It makes me feel good after it's over. So, I do love that. Um, let me work on my sidebar a little bit. I'll take a quick break from the question so I can concentrate and not mess this up. Okay, I want to do... Let's see. I know I have some headers here. So, I would like to do... Okay, I want to use to do. And let's do maybe one of these checklists. I'm going to cut it down to like four maybe. Let's see what color. I'll just stick with this one. I'm just going to cut off two of these. Okay. And we have to do. I feel like I could probably use a glitter header, but yeah, I think I will do that just to judge it up a little bit. Let's see here. What color would, I guess this color would go well. So I'm just going to stack these and then I'll pop the um, header in the middle. I'm not super into glitter headers, but a little glitter never hurts. Okay. That's as good as it's going to get. All right, habit trackers. Oh, I don't know if I pulled out any habit trackers. No, I did. I did. I did. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to use these guys from an old creating and co kit that I never used. Well, actually, I tried to use it and it just wasn't working. So I thought these matched perfectly. So cute. Um, maybe a little bit more glitter. Or maybe I'll just do a little glitter between them. Let me use the purple. Okay, so let's do this one, navy. You know what though? I usually work from the bottom, this is why. Okay, let me grab to clean. I love matte paper, but it's kind of hard to work with sometimes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just do eight. Hmm, we may have enough room. Yes, okay. That purple looks weird. I might block, I might fix something else. Okay, I'm gonna put some of these guys behind that to clean header. love that color it's so pretty okay and then I'll do my cleaning my weekly cleaning list and I'm not going to use that one that just looks weird maybe just another one of these I think that'll be fun hmm All right, let's pick a color that will actually go with this and not be weird. Will this one be weird? Okay, well, let's just do this and I think it maybe will come together at the end, maybe?
I think it'll look, look okay once I am completely done and all the colors are down and it'll like mesh together. If not, I will fix it some other time because I'm tired of messing with that. Okay, so let's see what we have on our next question. Okay, we got three left. Let's do Monday. Start on Monday at least. Okay, I have meetings this week and I'm going to use... Ooh, these are really cute. I think I might use these for my meetings. Let me start with the purple. Okay, so I have one this day, yes. Okay, one that day, and then one this day, and then one this day. And then one to Thursday. Yeah. And one of them I'm gonna use a half box for. I think I'll just use this one. Or this is cute. Let me use purple. Hold on. This one for my meeting in the morning. And then this one for my meeting in the afternoon. Okay, I think that's all my meetings. Ooh, I have another one this day. Let me move this down. Okay, I brought out these because I thought they were really cute and matched really well. I don't want to do scallop on scallop though. Um... Let's see. I don't have anything else though. I can just use a half box, it's fine. Um, maybe this one, this one's cool. I love this color, this poopy brown color. I don't know what it is about it. I just think it's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put this back down. And then this half box will be for like my really important meeting. There we go, okay. And then let's see, let's go back over here. What else? Okay, so I have some like to-dos here, but nothing major. And then I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit now that we're on the day-to-day. -day. Okay, so let's see. Um, this day, I do need to upload a video. Maybe I'll use one of these scallops. I only have one video this week. I've been kind of like running out of ideas. I know I need to mil like film some memory spreads, but I just have not. So I'll do that soon. But I have a video coming up that day. I also have a bill this day. And I found some bill dues that match because I have a bunch of bills this week. So I'm going to use this one. Nope. I'm going to use this turquoise. So I have a bill due. There we go. And then, what else? My other bill is on this day. Okay. Oh, let me get a little thing. Here we go, because I need to mark The Walking Dead or I will forget to watch it. about the season pass so and it's not like on my no normal hulu or anything like that so i have to remember to actually watch it i'm gonna grab another one of those for later okay so this is monday tuesday okay there's a lecture that i want to go to i've been really into the lectures lately let me use a half box I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go. It's on Shell Shock and World War One, continuing the World War One series. 
and it's also going to compare to like war today should be really interesting to me at least okay and then wednesday just a quick little cleaning list let me cut down one of these guys probably just going to do three and do that here with a to-do header or let's do today why does matte paper have to be so annoying okay I don't know that I can get any of these up oh there we go okay today there we go and then my TV show Criminal Minds is on on Wednesdays I'm assuming it's on because I never check if it's not I'll just pull it up okay and this is also a payday I saw a payday sticker in here that's cute maybe a glitter header let me use one of the purple ones because I haven't used one of those yet and I'm just gonna layer this on top of the glitter header Move that down. Okay, that's good. And then I think we're ready for over here. Okay, so I have a bill due on Thursday. I have one more of those little bill dues. Here we go. There we go. And then that's pretty much it for Thursday. Friday, I'm going to cut down one of these. I need some more purple, so I'm gonna bring in this one. I'm just gonna cut off one because I only need five for my high five for Friday list. Okay, there we go. And what header do I want to do with that? I think maybe just a little thing with something cute. Ooh, I have some deco. I can use that. So let me use let me use this guy. And then some deco. Oh, I like this little birdie. Okay, that's cute. Ooh, this little camera would work really well for my video since I only have one video this week. That'd be cute. Okay. All right, Friday. I don't have anything going on at school, which is awesome. And then I do need to do some little, um, some filming stuff. So let me take this quarter box and I think I'll just make a little list over here because I don't want to already have that one. I'm not going to crowd more over here in this corner. And I want to get some filming stuff done on Saturday. And I think that's all. I just need my, I think I'll just use this little one for my prayer list. and then maybe some deco I really love this leaf here although I like this one let's do that okay so that will be for my prayer list 
Okay, and then, oh, I need some to-dos here. So let me pull, let me pull eight to do, yeah. Let me do a to-do header, laundry. And I'll just make a list here. I'll make my own list. Actually, I'm gonna snip this just to make it a little more interesting. Okay, that's good. Is that all? Am I missing something? Not that you guys can tell me, but... Um, okay, here's what I would like to do. I have these full boxes. I want to put one over here. So let's do... I love the little bear, but I want to use him earlier in the week. Let me do this one. It's nice and bright. do one over here. I don't know if I should wait and see what else I have going on. I think I'll wait. But I want to use the little bear there because he's nice and bright and white. And he'll bring some interest over there. Okay, let's see where we're at and if I need to do anything else. Okay, so here's my pre-planning. And I'm gonna fill in a few things while I finish my questions. Cause I have three questions left that I almost forgot about. Okay, so next one is what holiday tr tradition are you looking forward to most this year? And I kind of have two here, which is okay. Um, okay, so one of them is I love putting up my own tree. It's my favorite tradition in my house because it's just fun to like see everything come together again and it's so cute and then adding a few new things I just think that's fun and it just like totally transforms in my house it's cute but then the other one I'm looking forward to like with my big family is my nephew is gonna have his first Christmas and it's gonna be cute and that'll be fun he's not gonna know what's going on but it will be cute to me and to my sister. Okay, so habit trackers. Real quick. And no, spend. Okay. Uh, what's the favorite gift you've given or holiday memory? Okay, so my favorite holiday gift I've ever given, this one is kind of an easy one. A couple of years ago, I gave my mom a necklace. It was uh, gold plated and I got it from an Etsy shop. If I can find that shop, I will link it in the description. But the shop, uh, basically you send them a picture of your handwriting with a certain phrase and they will make a necklace out of it or a bracelet or whatever. And I had, I love you forever in my handwriting and they made it into a necklace for my mom and she used to read this book to me when I was a kid called I Love You Forever and we like I basically memorized it um I'm sure y'all have heard of it before it's a pretty popular book but um it was just a special book and she cried and it was pretty good it was a good gift um okay so in the last question is do you do New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? And yes, I do make them and yes, I do stick to them mostly. This is probably the first year, like 2017, that I've done like a really good job at it. Um, my word was health. And even though I have gained some weight, which is does not make me happy, um, I still like 
mentally, emotionally, like that health is like the best it's been in a very, very long time, if not ever, um, best ever. So I feel like that was like, like I tailored all of my goals for the whole year around health, mental health, physical health, um, making good decisions, like furthering my career for like later on in my life, financial health, everything. Um, I started investing more. I'm going back to grad school, like everything around that. So I'm actually thinking of just like continuing that word and just working on my health and all areas of my life. And I think it's important. So I think it's really good to set goals. I love setting goals. I mean, part of my job is helping other teachers set goals. And I really, I believe in goals. I believe in, um, like, making a plan. So, yeah, for sure, resolutions are good. But you have to, like, believe in what you're doing. Or it's not going to work. Like, if you go into it knowing that it's, like, going to be too hard. Or you're not really, like, into it. It's not going to work. Ever. Ever. Okay, I'm going to finish this little part and then I'm going to speed you up, I think. What am I missing? Oh, bathrooms. Okay, here is where we are for pre-planning. Now, before I turn the camera off, I'm going to put in some half boxes for some workouts. I probably will not get in a workout this day if I'm gonna go to the lecture. If I don't go to the lecture, I'll undo this and put a different half box down, but I need to prioritize some workouts, especially with Thanksgiving coming up. So let me put in some half boxes and these take up some space which in my mind makes them important I don't know if that's actually a thing put one on the weekend so that I can be sure to get in I should get in at least four if not five workouts this week we shall see okay so here's my pre-planning all finished up and I'll be back in a minute to show you the final spread so here is how this week turned out. I love this so much. It's very different from what I've been doing in the past couple of weeks and I love this. I like the mix of the patterns. I like the mix of the black and white with the colors. I just, that's so cute. I love it. So it is Saturday and so I have a couple things to finish up here on Sunday and over here in my sidebar but this is pretty much it and Let's go ahead and zoom in and I'll show you where everything is from. Okay, so over here we have that little iPad sticker is from Carolina's Crafts. And then these two guys are from 
a creating and co kit, just some leftovers from that. And then this yoga sticker is from Lina's planner. And then this one also, but I put some washi over that because that did not happen. Um, this is also Lina's planner. And then this build do is from Sadie's stickers. It was just some leftovers. And then this is also from that creating and co kit. Everything else is from the kit. And then over here, my little basketball stickers are from just this sheet. I don't even know where I got it. It was like from a teacher store. And then this little label is from EC. And this sticker is, in fact, all of these little um, icons are from that same Creating and Co. kit. Along with the coffee. And then down here, this is also Sadie's stickers. And everything else is from the kit. So, I love how this turned out. Like I said, it is so cute and different from what I've been doing. And it was really fun to do this collab with the girls. I'm gonna leave the questions that we answered down in the description if you are so inclined to do a holiday tag as well. And definitely go check out the girls. I will leave them all linked down in the description because we're all do using either this kit or another one. And it's going to be fun to hear what they have to say with the questions. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye! One more thing, I'm doing a giveaway on my channel this week, which is the week of Thanksgiving, and I would love for y'all to come over. It's going up on Tuesday, November the 21st, and then it's coming down on Thursday. So it'll be a quick turnaround, but I'm giving away five holiday kits, and I'd love for someone to make use of them and enjoy them. So definitely check that out.